Betty. Clydeen here. And uh, getting that back up here. I was trying to get another camera set up, but mm, didn't work yet. So, so much for that. I'll use it another time. I'll figure it out. But I wanted to do this recipe today for you. And it is from Indigo Neely website. It is a keto bread recipe. And I will show you uh, the bread I made the other day. Let me show you both of them. Let me show you both of them, and then I'm gonna. I'm gonna. After I make this one, I'm gonna compare. Um, I'm gonna compare. Um, the breads with each other. So. I gotta put my sticky note on or I won't be watching you today. So I gotta watch right there. That'll help. Anyway, you can't see it, but I can, and it makes me look at the camera. All right, so this was the first bread I made. The one I, when I went live and I couldn't um, make the recipe because I didn't have the stuff. Um, hold on, let me send a text. All right. So remember I was going to make, I made the hamburger. Um, I'll put it in the description. I'll put the, the link. And then I made this bread. I made it. I didn't record myself making this bread, but it was with the um, whole eggs. So you separate the eggs and you whip up the egg yolks and you fold, you, you add ingredients to the egg yolks. You whip up the whites, excuse me, and you add ingredients to the egg yolks and you mix them at the very end. You mix those together. Okay, this is the bread I got. That's the bread I got. Now... It is pretty good. Some people say it's it's kind of like memory foam, but I'm not, but it's really not. I mean, when you squish it, it squishes pretty good and it stays. It tastes pretty good. This is the second batch I made of this recipe. And it tastes pretty good. And to be honest, this makes great, great French toast. I mean, great French toast. Okay, so this is the first batch. The problem is, it's hard to make sandwiches because you get this falling on the sides. But it's actually pretty tasty by itself. The first batch, when you eat it by itself, it's a little dry. What did I do different? I can't remember what I did different on the second batch. But anyway, so that's the first batch. Then I found a recipe by Keto Upgrade. I'll, put, I'll link her stuff too. And this is using um, egg white protein and uh, inulin and heavy cream powder and a few other ingredients. But this is, first of all, look at the difference of the shape, right? I mean, right? And this is yellow and this is white. You get a decent squish on it you can see there it stays down stays squished pretty good um it tastes amazing this has uh what else does it have in there oh psyllium husk in it has psyllium husk so it is um but it tastes good I've made several things with this. I've eaten this like the last night I had a PBJ. This has about one and a half carbs per slice. That's not bad, right? So when you can have, where did, where is it? Uh, 
Okay, this was my breakfast one morning, the first morning. Bacon and cheese with some mayonnaise, a half a sandwich. With that, that's like a half, one and a half grams of carbs for your for a sandwich. And I love sandwiches. Sandwiches are easy to make. There is a slice with peanut butter and my sugar-free jelly that I made, which I have to redo because it's kind of runny. But there is about, I want to say maybe six or eight grams of carbs. Compared to a regular slice of bread like this, that is about 12 grams. Some of them, some of them are more, depending on what you get. And if you get low carb bread, the slices are probably half of that size. Here was my breakfast this morning. I had, um, oh, I had a boiled egg. I made an egg salad out of it. Egg salad with some cheese. A whole, a whole, two whole slices. Um, and I probably, I want to say maybe about five carbs for the whole sandwich. Y'all, if you're counting carbs and you need to get rid of carbs and sugar in your life, this is a game changer because you can still have a sandwich. Also, I am going to be making um, indigo. Oh, I got to get this going. Hold on. Let me turn my oven on. It says 325. I'm going to find the recipe. No, I do have the recipe. It's up here. Okay, so I don't have my first recipe printed out, but I did post it on my YouTube, on my uh, Facebook page. So if you go to my Facebook page, Clydeen Bulky, and you'll find, scroll down, find the pictures of this bread, and then the recipe, the link to the recipe will be there. Um, here is the recipe for Indigo, Indigo Nilly. Okay, so go to her website. It is based on the original recipe at Mar MariaMindBodyHealth.com. MariaMindBodyHealth.com. Okay? So, I um, wonder if I could put it in the top chat, live chat. I want live chat. Okay. So, that's this recipe. No, it's not. No. Nope, nope. I lied. This is the recipe, Keto Upgrade. This is this recipe. Okay, Keto Upgrade. It's a two-page. So one loaf has 587 calories, 18 grams of fat, 20 grams of total carbs, 15 grams of fiber, 5 grams of net carbs, if you're counting net carbs, it's up to you, and 85 grams of protein. So this has about 6 grams of protein in it, depending on your slices and how many slices you get out of a um, but there's the information. You can go to this website. Just go to Keto Upgrade on you. Find her on YouTube. Okay. But today I'm making this one. Indigo Neely. That's her website. That's her YouTube. So these are the first two. This is one. This is two. This is sugarfreemom.com. This is Keto Upgrade on YouTube. And she has a Facebook too. And she has a, uh, she has a website with a blog on it, okay? So that's that. And look, I just made this... Today's Wednesday? Monday. I made a whole loaf Monday. And this is... It's almost gone. So I have to make more. I have to make more today anyway. Because I'm going to keep this in the house so I can have bread. And not feel guilty and gain fat over it. All right, all right, so this recipe says 120 grams of egg white powder. Now, I bought a scale because they say that weighing is better than measuring. So, here I go. 120 grams. I wonder if I can do this. Hold on, let me try something real quick. I'm going to it's not working anyway. Let me see if I can get you down here. Maybe you can see. Here. 
Can you see it? There we go. There you go. And maybe I'll bring up my YouTube channel up here so I can follow along. Let's see, chat. I like I turn it down so I don't get echoes. <laughs> and I wonder if I'm gonna get a chat, if I can see the chat. Anyway, I might be able to if they pop up. I don't need that on. Okay, here's my scale right there. I don't know if you can even see it. There, you can see it. All right, I'm going with 120 grams of egg white protein powder. I will post links to all of this stuff in the... in the description. Oh, that's not working. Okay. I had it posted, I had it moved up, tilted on there, it wasn't working. All right, there's 64 grams. There's 18. There's, oops, that's too much. One twenty. Perfect. Perfect. One hundred and twenty grams. I'll just leave that there. All right, and then a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now, I made two loaves in of that other bread because my sister was here and she wanted to take one with her. And um, and I don't think it gave it room enough to rise the whites enough to rise in the bowl. So that's why I'm only, do, I'm only doing one. So a half a teaspoon of salt. It says Redmond real salt, but I just have... I just have this salt, so I'm just going to use this one. Half a teaspoon of salt. There we go. Allulose in a stand. Okay, and allulose. Here's the allulose. I'll show you the, I'll show you the ingredients while it's mixing. Uh, a quarter of a cup. Doesn't say how to measure that. Just sit on a quarter of a cup. So we'll just do a quarter of a cup. So it's kind of in lumps, so I'm kind of breaking it up here. There's a quarter of a cup of allulose. Quarter cup allulose. I'm double checking because <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. All right, so that's everything in there. And uh, put you back up here. So there's my new little fancy scale, I love it. Actually, it's um, Taylor scale, I got it at Walmart. Okay, here's my mixer, got this one at Walmart too. All right, I'm just gonna mix these up. I have everything in there. Allulose, everything. This says preheat oven to 325. Gently whisk together the egg white protein powder. On low speed, slowly add the water. Hello, hello, say hello. All right, this is going up and then coming down. 
All right, a cup and a half of water. Pisser. I didn't wash my, let me see. <laughs> Cup and a half of water. Cup and a half of water. That's it. Okay. So it says to gently mix, slowly add the water and mix it together. And then you gradually increase on full speed for five minutes. Now, okay, we're just going to do that. Okay. I'm going to turn it on low. Gently add the water. Slowly add the water. I'm going to scrape down the sides a little bit and carefully get some pork Now that second batch I made had um, yeast in it. This is no yeast. This is egg bread. So you're getting protein. Put a sausage and cheese on it and you got an egg sandwich, pretty much. I know it's a little loud, but I'm going to tell you about stuff. Let me show you the product. The, uh, um, I got this for egg white protein. I'll put links below. Um, I got this allulose. This allulose is the other. Um, salt. I use this salt, but I just got it at the grocery store. Cream uh, and with your other ingredients. And the last ingredient is going to be, not this one, this one. Dried whole egg, whole eggs. All right, so that's the last one we're going to put in. And I'm going to uh, measure it, 20 grams of whole egg powder. I'm going to measure it on the plate.
little nervous to spray. I don't want to get any oil in it. It might kill the egg whites. So actually, I'm not going to do that. I think once I put it down in there, it'll hold it down. pick it up and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't do anything. It's stiff. Now you're going to put in, this says 20 grams, probably should measure, but you know, I think you should put in There's 20 grams, okay? That's 20 grams of this egg. So you turn it on reduced speed to low and add in the whole eggs. I'm just gonna add in a little bit at a time. I don't wanna add them all in at once. So I'm getting used to it. And so now I'm going to put it in my pan. And to be honest, it's really funny the way that. I don't want any water in it though. Why is there water? Because I just washed this bowl. My first batch isn't going to be perfect, but we'll see. Now, compared to the first egg bread I made, my first egg bread that I made was runny. It was runny. So it would not have stood up like this at all. But... So this is what she does. I've watched several of her videos. She smooths it out, kind of gives it a poof in the center, smooths it out like this. We'll see. Hers is much taller than mine though. I don't know why mine's not as tall. But here we go. That is the first loaf of Indigo Neely's 
bread. Okay, we'll see how it works. I am going to cut this paper because it's way too freaking long. All right, into the oven it goes for um, 30, about 40 minutes, okay? About 40 minutes. Oh, mm -hmm. y'all, when you forget to take stuff out of the oven because you use it as a storage. Ooh, and it's hot. Nope, stay up there. <laughs> Here you go. Here we go. Into the oven it goes. See how it does. I will be back. Thanks for watching. I will be back to post um, the results and I'll probably post the results over on my Facebook page. I might come live again in about 30 minutes to show you the results and compare the three. I'll let it cool. Actually, I'll go longer than that. I'll let it cool, I'll cut it, and I'll compare the three. I'll come live again and compare the three, all right? Thanks for watching. I'll check you out. Check me out later. Come back when I have them done, all right? Bye, y'all.